If you've ever come across a board game or a role-playing game, you know that each move depends on the value obtained by rolling a die. Depending on the game, dice can have 6, 8, 10, 12 or even 20 sides, with the latter being the most common and widely used among people. The central element of these games is the randomness that the die provides. Before rolling the die, you don't know what the next move will be and you can't predict the value that will be obtained. Therefore, it is impossible to manipulate the game to achieve the desired outcome, whether it's defeating a monster or achieving victory. This issue of randomness is not limited to dice games. Many online games, card games and others depend on randomness to function. Even famous games, where hitting a series of randomly drawn numbers can yield big prizes. However, an intriguing question arises. Are all these games truly random? Does the die provide genuinely random results? Or is there a way to determine the value that will be obtained? And an even more fundamental question, is there anything truly random in the universe? To explore these questions, it is essential to understand the concept of randomness. We can define randomness as that which we cannot predict. For example, when rolling a die, it is not possible to predict exactly which number will be obtained. This exemplifies a random process. However, this does not prevent someone from trying to guess the outcome or getting it right sometimes. Nevertheless, even with prediction methods, the die is still considered random because it is impossible to create a foolproof method to predict future outcomes. This distinction between random and deterministic is crucial. Classical physics, which describes many phenomena in our everyday lives, is an example of a deterministic system. Given the initial conditions, it is possible to accurately predict the future of a moving object, such as a ball thrown into the air. This extends to predicting the position and velocity of planets in our solar system, demonstrating that many events in our universe are deterministic and their choices have been made since the beginning of the universe. From the flavour of pizza, you choose to the clothes you will wear. If you're curious and want to know more about this topic, we already have a video here on the channel, so go check it out. Returning to the subject of this video, when analysing randomness, an interesting perspective emerges. Although rolling a die is theoretically deterministic due to the complexity and practical difficulty of calculating all the factors involved, we can consider it random for our entertainment purposes. The same applies to random numbers generated by computers, which, despite being deterministic machines, can provide results difficult enough to predict to be considered random in many practical situations. This brings us to a deeper question. Is there something truly random in the universe, or are we just living an illusion of freedom of choice? Quantum mechanics emerges as a key piece in this puzzle. In the double slit experiment, for example, unpredictability becomes evident. The wave function, which describes the probability of a particle being in a certain location, reveals that the particle can be in two places simultaneously until the moment of measurement when the wave function collapses to a single answer. This peculiarity of quantum mechanics challenges the notion of a purely deterministic universe. Even with all the information available, unpredictability persists. The question arises, are our lives predetermined since the Big Bang or are we subject to the randomness of the universe? The discussion extends to the concept of free will, questioning whether our actions and thoughts are already determined from the beginning. Thus, randomness is not just a matter of entertainment in games, but permeates crucial aspects of science, politics and even internet security. The complexity of randomness becomes evident when considering the importance of unpredictable passwords to ensure the security of sensitive data. While it is true that computers use pseudo-random generators, the practical difficulty of predicting these results makes them effective for many applications. Ultimately, the question of whether something is truly random in the universe remains open. Quantum mechanics offers intriguing insights, but the understanding is still incomplete. Einstein's phrase, God does not play dice with the universe, 
reflects the scientist's resistance to randomness in quantum mechanics, which he considered an incomplete theory. Reflecting on the determination or randomness of the universe continues to be a fascinating theme, challenging our fundamental conceptions of how the cosmos operates. Thank you for your attention, and until the next video.